There's an old saying that says to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Meaning, if you are aware that a situation is going to occur or a circumstance, um, and if you know about it, you will be better able to deal with it and know what to do when it occurs. Back in the summer, in the middle of the summer, there were rumblings in the prophetic world that a great shaking was coming to our nation and to the world. A shaking that God was going to allow to unfold, I believe in great part, to draw all people unto himself. So, the shaking was to begin in September, as was prophesied. And I began to share in the middle of the summer that this great shaking was coming. Now, when you start to talk about something that is being discussed in the prophetic realm but hasn't happened yet, some people can call you plum crazy. I mean, it's a risk. You're putting, you're putting your reputation on the line. But I was so compelled by the Holy Spirit that it was important to begin talking about this that I, that I began doing so. Sunday after Sunday, day after day. September came and went. Didn't seem like anything major was happening. Didn't seem like any shaking was going on, but that would not be the case. We can think back to September 6th. On September 6th, a delegation from Saudi Arabia went to the nation of Israel to begin talking about peace talks, a peace agreement between that Muslim state of Saudi Arabia and the Jewish state of Israel. There is growing evidence that in response to that meeting, uh, during the month of September, other Muslim nations began to conspire against Israel, including Iran, great evidence of this, to the point that they began to plan an attack on the nation of Israel. That was all during the month of September. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean a shaking is, isn't happening. One week ago today, the United States House of Representatives, for the first time in our nation's history, voted out the Speaker of the House, leaving a void of leadership. It should not surprise us then that five days later, this past Saturday, Israel was attacked by Hamas in a horrible, gruesome, bloody war. War has been declared. There's much at stake. There's no doubt about it. The shaking has begun, and it is only beginning. And what do we do with that? The reason I told us about this and the reason the prophets shared about this and the reason that God spoke through the prophets was that we who follow Jesus would not be unaware, we would not be caught off guard, but we would realize that God is on the throne, that we are to be in prayer, that we are to be in the word, that we are to be in worship, we are to be building each other up and we are pointing people to Jesus Christ because people are going to become desperate for Jesus as things unfold. So tomorrow night, I invite you to join with us here at the Big Red Barn. The pastors and elders of the Fresh Wind Christian community are calling the church, not just Fresh Wind Church, but the church, to an evening to gather and pray for Israel, for the Middle East, and for the world. It's something we can do in the midst of the shaking that will bring us together and we're gonna call out to God. And I pray that you'll come at six o'clock tomorrow night. We'll have childcare for the little ones, but we need to be together in unity. These are maybe the most critical days we have ever lived in during our life. Let's not put our head in the sand. Let's not go to fear. Let's not become unglued. Let's be firm in our faith, secure in our hope in Jesus Christ, and, and, and filled with the Holy Spirit. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow night, praying for you. Thanks that you're praying for us. God bless you all.